Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm the Cooking Bookie, inviting you in for some great food and fantasy football. Now, everybody knows before the big game, you gotta have two things. Great food, and your lineups have to be set on your fantasy teams. That's where I come in. Each week, we'll go over some easy-to-make, delicious food, and give you pointers on who to start in your DFS and fantasy lineups. So, let's get started. In honor of the number one team in the league right now, Philadelphia Eagles, we're gonna make a delicious Philly cheesesteak. Let's take a look at our ingredients. We'll be using olive and canola oil. We have some Parmesan and provolone cheese with some warm milk for our sauce. Plenty of butter for our sauteing of our mushrooms, hoagie rolls, some yellow onions, poblano peppers, and thinly sliced meat. Very basic. All right, the first thing we wanna do is get our onions peeled and prepped. Now, caramelization takes about half an hour, so we want to get those into a pan right away. The key to this recipe is slicing things nice and thin, really thin. You want to slice it like Tom Brady sliced up the Falcons in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl last year. Too soon? Well, my onions are prepped, and while you're slicing yours, let's get into some football. Packers are going over to the Bears without Aaron Rodgers. Bears are still fighting for a spot, and there's no way they're going to let them beat them at home. So. They're going to stack the box, try to make the backup beat them, run the ball a lot, and kill the clock. So Jordan Howard's going to have a really big game. Bears take it at home. We got Cleveland Browns going to Detroit. Now it's Cleveland. They stink. They got the worst offense and worst defense in the league. Lions are going to take this one. No problem. You can take Stafford. You can take Tate. You can take the defense, the offense, the cheerleaders, the water boy, and the equipment manager. Everyone's going to get on the action and have a lot of points. So... Definitely take Detroit in this one. Now next up is my Steelers at the Colts. Now Vegas has this as a low scoring game with the Steelers winning by 10. I know my Steelers. They're probably going to keep it really close. I also think there's going to be a lot of scoring in this. So you could take Hilton, Brissett, Ben, Brown, and Bell. Everyone's going to get on the action. Everyone's going to have a lot of points scored. Steelers will take it at the end though. Okay, we got two tablespoons of butter melted in our pan. We can go ahead and add about a tablespoon or so of canola oil, and let's dump our onions in here like I had to dump Deshaun Watson for my team when he got injured. Practice. He got injured in practice. And after we get our onions in here, we'll go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning, a pinch of salt, always salt to taste, and a little bit of ground pepper. Now let's get to our peppers. So just like the onions, we want to get these peppers cut nice and thin. Take your top off, remove your core, cut it in half, and get the slice in. Now remember, we want to do this nice and thin. Take your time. You're not in a hurry. You want it to be really thin. You want it to look like gah. Yeah, that's a geeky Star Trek reference. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Chargers are at the Jags this week. Leonard Fournette's coming back. He's going to be really mad from being benched by the coach. He's going to destroy him. And the Jags defense is just too much. I think this is going to be a blowout. Sorry, Chargers. You're going down. Also, we got the Saints at the Bills. The Saints passing attack is hit or miss. But they do have the two-headed running back of Kamara and Ingram. They're going to win this, but they're going to win it on the ground. So I wouldn't go with Breeze. I wouldn't go with Thomas. Stick with the running backs on this one. Okay, our onions are coming along really nice. Now let's get our peppers into a pan. Real simple, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and in they go. Now it's time for our mushrooms. You want them coarsely chopped, like the former coach of the Giants. Dang! Dex Bucks. Vikings, Redskins, these games are too close to call. I'm not taking any of the players, but I am taking the Jets and the Vikings to win. Okay, we got a couple tablespoons of butters going for our sauteed mushrooms. Right in the pan, easy as pie. Cincinnati's playing at the Titans. Originally, I wanted to go with the Titans, but a pissed off A.J. Green is a dangerous A.J. Green. I look for A.J. Green to have two touchdowns, 150 yards in this one. He's gonna really take it to the Titans. 
Before we get our route going, let's talk about the Texans at the Rams. Now, two weeks ago, this would have been a no-brainer. Texans all the way. But since Deshaun Watson went down in practice, he went down in practice. My whole season, Deshaun, practice. It's going to be a blowout. The Rams, Goff, Gurley, the defense. Texas got no hope in this one. Well, you know, Texans, Houston, at least you got the World Series. Okay, we got our roux going. We're going to go ahead and add two cups of warm milk. Hotter is the better, not totally boiling. You want to mix it in here and you want to keep mixing for four to five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. We got our milk nice and hot. A little bit boiling, not too bad. We're going to remove it from the heat and slowly add our cheeses. You want to add a little provolone. Add maybe half of it and keep stirring while you do so. Add a little bit more. Keep stirring. You want to keep stirring and add your Parmesan until you get a nice creamy sauce. Just get it all in there. Let's get all our cheese in there. This is going to be delicious. Now you can also spice this, but uh, the cheese is salty enough, I think, that you don't really don't need to add any kind of salt. So we'll just keep stirring until we got a nice creamy sauce. All right, we're almost there. All we got to do is cook our meat. Before we do that, let's talk Cowboys Falcons. It's supposed to be the highest scoring game of the week. Zeke is out. That means Dak's going to be throwing the ball all over the place. Problem is, his two main receivers are a little bit hobbled. That sets up a big game for our sleeper pick of the week, which will be Cole Beasley. Look for him to have a huge game. Don't think it'll be enough, though. Atlanta at home. They're coming into their own. Julio will pull the double teams, and I think Mohamed Sanu is going to have a really big game. I'm looking for the Falcons to win at home. Hey, guys. Here's a little tip to save you some time. If you go to your butcher and you order some pre-cut stir-fry, it comes in perfect little strips for our sandwiches. And in the somebody's got a win game, Giants at the Niners, it's one of the rare instances where the winner will actually become the loser come draft time. So take the kickers, move on, pre-take it. Okay, we got our meat in the pan. Want to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It's thin enough, so it should take about two minutes per side, but you know how you like it. All right, while our meat's cooking, let's talk Pats and Broncos. Now, I don't know what happened with the Broncos defense. There's injuries all over the place for the Pats. Let's just go Patriots. Probably be pretty close because it is in Denver in the high altitude, but Patriots are going to win this one. As far as the players go, take Gronk, and that's about it. Okay, we got one last game to go, and that's the Dolphins at the Panthers. Now, the Dolphins had a fire sale. They got rid of a Jaya. They're kind of tanking. I like the Panthers in this one. Cam Newton's going to try to do it all himself. So I would take him, and I'd take their defense. So we've cooked the meat, we've assembled our sandwich, and now it's time to finish them off. So if you've had as good a time as I've had, remember, like, share, and subscribe. So enjoy the games, good luck with your teams, and remember, always eat like a champion.